Let's see how you did with the test your understanding. First one, as we can see, this is one term. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify. I'm going to use laws of bed mass. And remember that this dot here means multiply. So I'm saying 2 multiplied by 5, but already I can do some simplification. So that's what I'm going to do first. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 5 once. I have more y's at the top, so that y will go into itself once, and now I'm going to say y, 2 minus 1 is 1. So what do I have at the top? I have a 2, an x cubed, and a y. By this stage, you should know that if your denominator is 1, I don't have to write it as a fraction anymore because that is going to be 2x cubed y or y to the 1 over 1 just gives us that whole number and I'm going to raise to the power of 3. When I raise a power to a further power, I write down my base and I multiply exponents. So I'm going to say 2, 3 times our invisible 1 is 3. I write down my base and I say x to the 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. I write down my y and I say 3 times 1 is 3. Now I must simplify that. So I put 3 fingers in the air and I say 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. x to the 9 y cubed. Let's look at number 2. Right, number 2 is different in terms of it looks like distribution, but I must first calculate the exponents because remember, bed mass. So where is my exponent? It is at the outside here, so I'm going to do raising a power to a further power. I'm not working with the p cubed, so I write it down. When I raise a power to a further power, I multiply exponents. So I write down my p and I say 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. I write down my q and I say 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. I write down my r and I say 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Right, now I'm doing distribution, which is multiplication, because remember there's an invisible multiply sign there. So when I multiply powers with the same base, I write down my base and I add exponents. So 3 plus 8 is 11, q to the 12, r to the 4. I've now simplified number 2. Let's look at the third one. In this in this case, I'm choosing to split my root. Remember, I can split my root over a multiplication <clears throat> or division, but not addition and subtraction. And I choose to do that because I don't want to go and multiply 9 by 25 in my head. So I'm going to say that is 9a squared b to the 4 square rooted find that answer and then multiply it by the answer to 25, a to the 4, b to the 6 square rooted. Right, the square root of 9 is 3. I write down my base and I say because this is a square root, so I'm going to say 2 divided by 2, which is will give me 1, a to the 1. I write down my base, which is b, and I say 4 divided by 2 because of the square root, and that is going to be b squared. Then I'm going to multiply by signs, numbers, letters. Square root of a positive is positive. The square root of 25 is 5. I write down my base, and when I'm square rooting, I'm dividing by the root. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. I write down my base, which is b, and I'm going to say 6 divided by 2, which is going to be 3. So now I have 3ab squared multiplied by 5a squared b cubed. I'm multiplying signs, numbers, letters. Positive multiplied by a positive is a positive. 5 times 3 is 15. I write down my base. When I multiply powers, with the same base, I write down my base and I add exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. Write down my base, which is b. 2 plus 3 is a 5. And that 
is number three simplified. Let's look at number four. Right, we have two terms, so I'm going to look at the first term, and it's two multiplied by, so I'm going to leave that, and I'm first going to work out the cube root of 27 is 3. When I'm rooting, I write down my base, and I'm going to divide the 9 by 3, which will give me 3. I write down my base, because this is cube root 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then I'm going to add, we're now doing the square root, so the square root of 36 is 6. Write down my base, which is m, and because it's a square root, I'm going to say 6 divided by 2 is 3. Write down the n, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now, I still have two terms, but I can simplify this term. One term, I do signs, numbers, letters, 2 times 3 is 6 m cubed n plus 6 m cubed n. I have two terms, but these terms are like terms because they both have the same variables. So this is going to be, when I add in algebra, I write down the family name or the variables, m cubed n, and I say 6 plus 6 is 12. And that 